wouldn't have been a reader or a writer or even a civilized human being if it hadn't been for libraries. Oh, libraries played a huge role in my love of books. We went to the library each Saturday and we both took out stacks and stacks of books and that's how I spent my weeks. I would stack them like this, I would put my hands like this and I would go up to my chin and I would come out like this with this many books. The basket in the back seat of the car of, of library books that were going home, library books that were coming back. Our house, the car, and the library were just constantly connected. Yeah, I remember this one beanbag chair I'd always take in the corner and uh, that was my spot and I would go there. It was sort of, you know, other than school and home, it was my third place. But when I found a great book, I, I dove into it head first and got obsessed with it. Behind every one of those spines was a world that, that I could walk into. There was a world that I could take home with me. Those trips to the library were just vital to me. The book that just blew me out of the water and changed my life, I finished it in one sitting. The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963, by Christopher Paul Curtis. Mysteries, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys. Uh, Frog and Toad, I think those books are as good as anything written in English. James Marshall's George and Martha series. Alice in Wonderland and Alice in the Looking Glass, those were the first that I read to myself and really enjoyed. And so the experience of reading, I mean, it makes me tear up thinking about it. The Westing Game and from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Baisley, Frank Weiler. I remember uh, getting super fudge out of a library and sitting there. It was, it was one of the first books that made me laugh out loud till I cried. Charlotte's Web has to have been one of my all-time first favorites as a kid. Reading Bridge to Terabithia. And it was a really, really important book to me because it was the first time that a book made me cry. And I couldn't stop reading until it was over. And I was a different person by the end of it. Libraries transformed my life because as a kid, I didn't have access to that many books. And going to the library meant that I could stack up 10 books into my arms and take them home and read them. I read voraciously. It was all I wanted to do. My mother had to like push me to you know, get out of the house because all I wanted to do was read. I think it transformed me that way in taking me to places that I had never heard of and putting me into the minds and bodies of characters that were very different from myself. The older I get, the more I believe that reading is important because we need to understand people who are not like us. And I think that is something that is an essential quality to being human. And I think that comes from books in a lot of ways. They really experience and understand empathy and ethics through feeling like they are a character in a book. And that is the power of fiction. Well, they fed that appetite. They fed my appetite for, for wanting to have adventures, to opening the world to me and opening the possibilities of what girls and women could do. They transformed my life because I discovered um, in reading, I discovered the beauty of writing, of words, and of, especially for me, for female characters that were strong and independent, female characters like um, Laura Ingalls Wilder and Pippi Longstocking. I love those stories and um, they taught me about overcoming adversity and being strong. Libraries for me played a great role because it was in the library that you began to realize that the goal in life when sitting in a library is to recreate the entire library on the inside of your life. So whenever I go to the library, even when I was a child, and I would read a book, I would want that book to sit on an imaginary shelf within me. The one thing I remember about the, most about the library is the time the library came to me. I was like eight years old and a bus showed up on my corner and the door opened and I walk in the bus and it's full of books. What was this? This is the bookmobile. I'd never heard of such a thing. It might as well been, have been a UFO dropping from, from the clouds. Libraries have always played an extremely important role for me. I grew up in a very small town, dairy country, and then in the mountains for a while, if not for my local library, which was my gateway to the rest of the world. But I, I just didn't have a broader view of life and a broader view of the world, and libraries opened that up to me. Libraries made that available to me and made me aware of so much that was going on. And our library, it's the pulsing heart of the community. It's where people can meet, it's where people apply for jobs. It's about access and it's about service. You know, whether it's fiction or nonfiction to articles, periodicals, 
They'll have access to newspapers, they'll have access to internet. English language lessons, passport services, citizenship lessons, job placement, it's just amazing the amount of services that that space is providing to families. I think libraries are one of the few remaining places where there's a huge sense of community and I think communities need that. And I don't think I've ever felt as rich as I did um, when I had that big pile of books to carry home and the wonderful task of choosing which of those books to begin with. I actually do most of my drawing and writing in the library because um, it's such just a beautiful, inspirational place to be. I remember trying to write my own Choose Your Own Adventure book, which, uh, as you might guess, proved tough because I remember on page two, I said, uh, if this character does this, turn to page 82. And then I was bummed because I realized I would have to write 81 more pages to get to that choice. It was great. As a kid, libraries were really important to me. And, and uh, I think librarians do a great job reading books, figuring out what they're about. And they know their patrons. And they know who's going to like what. Come on in closer, Joy. Hi, guys. I think that that's true. Uh, because kids need access to many different kinds of books to figure out who they are as readers and as people. Because they hold information you can get nowhere else. Because we all need comfort zones in life, libraries transform. Because you can get books for free, libraries transform. Because they act as a community center for everyone from every part of a community, libraries transform. Because books expose you to worlds outside your own. Because books are the most accurate way to fully understand another person's experience. Because you're allowed to go on adventures in every book you read. Because children have hungry imaginations. Because human beings need stories. Libraries transform. Music